Here are the most recent deaths in the national news, as reported at Legacy.com the fourth week of May 2023. Legacy.com is where you can find any obituary or publish an obituary in any newspaper in America and beyond. Football player and actor Jim Brown died May 18, 2023 at his home in Los Angeles. He died of natural causes at the age of 87. He was a Hall of Fame running back for the Cleveland Browns, leading them to the NFL championship in 1964. He is widely considered one of the best football players of all time. Brown is also being remembered as a civil rights activist and an actor, starring in movies including The Dirty Dozen, The Split, and 100 Rifles. A note to remember, sometimes personal information such as someone's cause of death is not announced immediately or publicly at all by their family or the authorities. Every family has a right to their privacy. Actor Ray Stevenson died May 21, 2023 in Italy at the age of 58. He starred as Titus Polo in the HBO drama Rome and will appear in the upcoming Star Wars series, Ahsoka. Stevenson is being remembered for his busy career, with roles in movies like Thor, Punisher Warzone, the Divergent series, and many more. Musician Andy Rourke died May 19, 2023, in New York City. He died of pancreatic cancer at the age of 59. He was the bassist for the iconic 80s indie band, The Smiths, known for songs like This Charming Man and How Soon Is Now. Rourke is being remembered for his melodic bass lines, an integral part of The Smiths' sound. Billionaire Sam Zell died May 18, 2023, of complications from a recent illness at the age of 81. He made his fortune in real estate and was ranked among the world's 400 richest people. Zell is being remembered as the Grave Dancer, the nickname he gave himself for his technique of buying struggling companies to turn a profit. Reverend Timothy Keller died May 19, 2023 at his home in New York City. He died after fighting pancreatic cancer at the age of 72. He was the influential pastor of New York's Redeemer Presbyterian Church, where thousands attend services each week. Keller is also being remembered as the author of best-selling books like The Reason for God, Belief in an Age of Skepticism. Author Martin Amos died May 19, 2023, in Lake Worth Beach, Florida. He died of esophageal cancer at the age of 73. He was the award-winning author of books including Money, London Fields, and Experience. Amos is being remembered for his darkly comic literary voice. Poet and lyricist Pete Brown died May 19, 2023 in Hastings, England. He died of cancer at the age of 82. He wrote the lyrics for rock and roll classics, including Cream's hit singles White Room and Sunshine of Your Love. Brown is also being remembered as a beat poet who performed his poetry on stage, often accompanied by music. Former U.S. Representative Marion Barry died May 19, 2023 in Little Rock, Arkansas. He died after a long illness at the age of 80. He was a Democrat who represented Arkansas in the House of Representatives from 1997 to 2011. Barry is being remembered as a member of the powerful House Committee on Appropriations. Boston Marathon icon Rick Hoyt died May 22, 2023, of respiratory system complications at the age of 61. With limited communication and mobility due to cerebral palsy, he competed in 32 Boston marathons, as well as Ironman triathlons and other endurance races, with his father, the late Dick Hoyt, pushing his racing wheelchair. 
Hoyt is being remembered as an inspirational figure who, when he wasn't competing in marathons, helped create assistive technology for people with disabilities. Farmer Dave Brandt died May 21, 2023 of complications from a car accident at the age of 76. His face became internet famous when a photo of him was turned into a meme with the tagline, It ain't much, but it's honest work. He is being remembered as a pioneer of sustainable agriculture who worked to educate the world about the no-till method of farming. Brandt was a U.S. Marine Corps veteran of the Vietnam War. Speed skater Terry McDermott died May 20, 2023, at the age of 82. He won a gold medal at the 1964 Winter Olympics, beating formidable competition from the Soviet Union at the height of the Cold War. McDermott is being remembered for returning home as an American hero, appearing on The Ed Sullivan Show the same day as The Beatles' U.S. debut. Politician George Evans died May 15, 2023, in Selma, Alabama, at the age of 78. He was the two-time mayor of Selma, the site of pivotal moments in the civil rights movement. Evans is also being remembered as his community's first black city council president and school board superintendent. Chef Walter Royal died May 22, 2023, at the age of 66. He was the longtime executive chef for the Angus Barn in Raleigh, North Carolina. Royal is being remembered for winning an episode of Iron Chef America with his dishes made from ostrich. Athlete Charles Cotton Nash died May 23, 2023, at a hospital in Lexington, Kentucky. He died after a period of declining health at the age of 80. He was an All-American basketball star at the University of Kentucky in the 1960s, who went on to play both basketball and baseball professionally. Nash is being remembered as one of only 13 people to compete in both the NBA and Major League Baseball. Politician Tom Sawyer died May 20, 2023, in Akron, Ohio. He died after a long illness at the age of 77. He represented Ohio in the U.S. House of Representatives for eight terms. Sawyer is also being remembered as the former mayor of Akron, as well as a state senator and state board of education member. Filmmaker Leon Ichasso died May 21, 2023, in Santa Monica, California. He died of a heart attack at the age of 74. The Cuban-born director made movies including El Super and Paraiso, exploring life as a Latino in North America. Ichasso is also being remembered for directing TV biographies of Muhammad Ali and Jimi Hendrix, as well as episodes of TV shows including Miami Vice. Musician Bill Lee died May 24, 2023, at his home in New York City at the age of 94. He was the father of filmmaker Spike Lee, and he composed music for several of his son's movies, including Do the Right Thing. Lee is also being remembered as a bassist who played jazz as well as accompanying musicians like Bob Dylan and Aretha Franklin. Filmmaker Kenneth Anger died May 11, 2023, in Yucca Valley, California, at the age of 96. He made experimental films like Fireworks, which is considered the first movie in the United States to openly explore themes of homosexuality. Anger is also being remembered for writing the book Hollywood Babylon, retelling scandalous rumors about celebrities and influencing today's celebrity rumor culture. Musician Sheldon Reynolds died May 23, 2023, at the age of 63. He played lead guitar with Earth, Wind & Fire in the 1980s and 90s, earning a Grammy nomination for the song Sunday Morning. 
Reynolds is also being remembered as a member of the Commodores and Sun, who also recorded with artists like Smokey Robinson. Singer and actress Tina Turner died May 24, 2023, at her home in Switzerland. She died after a long illness at the age of 83. She was a star in the 1960s alongside her then-husband Ike Turner, singing hits like Proud Mary and River Deep Mountain High. After escaping his abuse, she embarked on a legendary solo career. Turner is being remembered as the queen of rock and roll for enduring hits like What's Love Got to Do With It and The Best, for her starring role in Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome, and for her remarkable tenacity as she reinvented her life and career. In addition to featuring current deaths in the news, Legacy.com also honors the lives and legacies of notable people who died in the past. Here are some of this week's anniversaries. One year ago this week, actor Ray Liotta died at the age of 67. His many acclaimed movie performances included baseball player Shoeless Joe Jackson in Field of Dreams and mobster Henry Hill in Goodfellas. Six years ago this week, actor Roger Moore died at the age of 89. He starred in seven James Bond films, from Live and Let Die to A View to a Kill. Twelve years ago this week, professional wrestler Macho Man Randy Savage died at the age of 58. He was a star of the WWE in the 1980s and 90s, considered one of the greatest pro wrestlers of all time. 34 years ago this week, actress and comedian Gilda Radner died at the age of 42. She was one of the original stars of Saturday Night Live, beloved for hilarious characters like Roseanne Rosanna Dana and Emily Latella. 48 years ago this week, comedian and actress Jackie Moms Mabley died at the age of 81. She was a comedy pioneer, one of the first black women and first openly gay people to perform stand-up. Astronaut Sally Ride was born 72 years ago this week. She died in 2012 at the age of 61. In 1983, she became the first American woman to fly into space. Actress Dixie Carter was born 84 years ago this week. She died in 2010 at the age of 70. She was a sitcom star on Designing Women, who went on to star in the legal drama Family Law. Musician Miles Davis was born 97 years ago this week. He died in 1991 at the age of 65. The trumpeter and bandleader is considered one of the all-time jazz greats, and his Kind of Blue is one of the most influential albums ever. Actor James Arness was born 100 years ago this week. He died in 2011 at the age of 88. He starred as Marshall Matt Dillon on the TV western Gunsmoke for 20 years. Actor Jimmy Stewart was born 115 years ago this week. He died in 1997 at the age of 89. One of the greatest and most beloved actors of the 20th century, he starred in movies like The Philadelphia Story and It's a Wonderful Life. Every week in the United States, flags are lowered to half-staff to honor the lives of Americans whose communities are mourning their loss. Here are the most recent half-staff memorial flag honors. Flags in Arkansas have been lowered to honor the memory of former Congressman Marion Barry. Flags in Mississippi have been lowered to honor the memory of Hines County Judge Loretta Cooper Stokes. Flags in Hawaii have been lowered to honor the memory of former State Senator Sam Slum. Flags in Texas have been lowered in honor of the victims, survivors, families, loved ones, and entire Uvalde community on the one-year anniversary of the shooting at Robb Elementary School. You can read more about the lives of the people featured in this video on Legacy.com. At Legacy.com, any family can publish an obituary in honor of a loved one's memory online and in local newspapers everywhere. Just visit Legacy.com and select your local community. You can also follow Legacy.com on Facebook and subscribe to our channel on YouTube to stay up to date on national news deaths.